Hello, Scorpios. This is a singles read for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs to see how you guys can attract your next love interest, all right? So let's see what's going on for my Scorpio singles. Scorpio, let's see how you guys are currently. Hmm. I think a lot of you are currently just trying to learn to let go of things that you feel like have really hurt you before um, and move on. But a lot of you are having a hard time just kind of letting go, just kind of being free. Um, but you're trying. I, I feel you guys are really trying to change up the way that you um, do things here. Okay? Let's see what kind of person you guys normally attract. What kind of person do my Scorpios normally attract? Hmm. Fire energy. Somebody that is maybe a little uh, cocky. Um, if not cocky, very confident in themselves and their abilities. Um, I think this is somebody that can be a little set in their ways. Um, they like what they like when they like it. Okay? This is somebody that likes to travel. This is somebody that um, also welcomes change, though. They just like things their way. But, you know, they change up things when they want to. And probably quite frequently to suit themselves, okay? And they probably, you know, like for other people to be that way as well, okay? Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see what you guys need to show off more in your personality. Hmm. That you are not all about self. That, you know, you do know how to function in a relationship. Um, you know, giving and taking. Um, you know, doing things for other people. Caring about other people's feelings. Um that you really do enjoy like quality time here that you do enjoy family settings that you're not all about yourself you know you do want to be there for people um regardless through thick and thin that you care about here you want to take care of them okay let's see what you need to contribute more what do my scorpios need to contribute more here Mm. Being more supportive, this kind of goes hand in hand with the Six of Pentacles. Because, you know, the Kings and the Queens, they are very supportive. But I think this is also so. Sh wow. Okay. This is also showing more of your masculine energy, um, taking more pride in yourself, in your appearance, in the way that you look, in the way that you talk. Um, in the way that you present, okay? Showing that you are willing to be committed and be there for your partner regardless, okay? Can provide a stable um, home and surroundings, okay? Let's see what you guys must accept about yourselves here. What do my Scorpios need to accept about themselves? Um, some of you guys are a little stubborn. Some of you do, you know, I think you resist a lot. I think you resist change a lot. Um, but I think that, you know, you are strong. Like, you can't fight the urges that you guys have. Um, if you feel like something is not beneficial for you, instead of just giving in to it, um, you do have the strength to to change that okay if you feel like you guys you know are stuck in your ways and maybe there's something that you can change about yourself this is saying that you do have it in you you can do it you can do it especially if you know what you've been doing thus far is not working for you it's finding the strength inside of yourself to make the necessary changes here okay but a lot of you, I feel like, you know, you, you buck against change. You buck against um, the things that, you know, don't come easily for you. 
Okay. Let's see what kind of love you guys need. What kind of love do my Scorpios need? Self-love. Hmm. And that's just the first thing I got from this. A lot of you guys are counterproductive in, in the sense that um, a lot of you, I feel like, are not sure about yourself um, maybe some of you are like lacking some confidence at this point that you can provide that you can be a provider that you can be supportive um, that you can initiate things here I feel like this is also one where you need someone that can that genuinely wants to be happy, okay? And they do not look for other people to make them happy. You need somebody that is self-aware, somebody that can help you, you know? And what I mean by help you is like, sometimes we need people that are not like us to kind of spearhead um, a change that we already know that we need to do or make and you know they just kind of give us that extra like th that extra push you know so i think this is this is like leo energy somebody that's confident somebody that also you know has this brightness um maybe an aries as well okay leo aries energy somebody that's very kind of light-hearted that brings some healing energy some sunshine to your life okay fire energy let's see if you guys are ready for love are my Scorpios ready for love let's see Scorpio I think definitely you guys are ready for love I think you're ready to meet that one and I think that's what a lot of you are looking for here you got some of you have already met somebody who you feel very connected to um, I think that for those of you who have already met somebody, this may be somebody from your past that you feel this very strong connection to, like um, they feel familiar to you. Um, I think you would like to give this person the world. For those of you who have already met someone, for those of you who have not met someone, this is you guys um, meeting someone that uh, you will feel like is a kindred spirit for you. Okay. And I feel like this will be probably in like the next six months or so, okay? Maybe definitely um, like a Leo energy, okay? Let's see, how will you guys find love? How will my Scorpios find love here? Hmm. I feel like this is through change and feeling like you, um, feeling like you will be successful. But I think there's something that you guys need to realize about yourselves here. Okay. And I think this is also, um, you guys doing the necessary, um, the necessary adjustments so that you know whatever you do of course this is the karma right here so whatever you put in is what you get out um maybe you know feeling more confident in yourself making those necessary changes that you feel like you need to make maybe um you know being more of an initiator versus like sitting back and letting somebody else you know, steer, start steering for a change, um, be more supportive, be more um, debonair or more alluring. Um, just getting your confidence up, being more, you know, self aware of what it is that you would like in your life and what changes you feel like, you know, would bring in what you like, okay, or what you deserve, okay? 
So let's see what attributes should your next partner have. What attributes should Scorpio's next partner have? The Three of Swords. Hmm. The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Three of Swords, of course, is disappointment, heartache. Okay. And I feel like this is somebody that. needs to address whatever issues that that may come up with you um somebody that's willing to listen and discuss what your issues are okay somebody that's willing to see um the truth in situations i feel like somebody that needs to be easy on your heart okay Somebody that does not move too fast, but they do have forward moving. Somebody that can help you mend your heart. I feel like this is an earth sign here, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn individual. I feel more um, Taurus, um, somebody that is maybe um, likes to stay in, but you know they're comfortable with staying in. But they, they will get you out of your shell and, you know, take you on adventures that you guys, you know, may not normally take on your own, you know, but they're not going to take you too fast. Okay. They're going to be mindful of the things that hurt you. This person. Okay. Could be a Libra energy as well. Libra Taurus. Hmm. Maybe somebody with a little fire in their chart like Leo. Okay. Because we have Leo here, Leo there. We have Taurus here. So I feel like Libra, Taurus, um, Libra, Taurus, and Leo will probably be um, a very good um be a very good match for you guys, okay? So my Scorpios, that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.